Ladies and gentlemen, for centuries the Jews lived in Greece. For centuries they enriched the culture of our country with their spirit, their traditions, and their tireless activity. On the holy island of Delos, there is the oldest synagogue built 2,000 years ago. Inscriptions from mainland and Thailand, Greece, dating back to the end of the fourth century before Christ, bear unmistakable witness to the Jewish presence. In the second century before Christ, Hyrcanus, the leader of the Jewish community of Athens, was honored by the erection of a statue of him in the marketplace. When the Apostle Paul visited Thessaloniki, he found an organized Israeli community there, as well as in Philippi, Veria, Corinth, and probably Athens. The Greek-speaking, fully integrated into Greek culture, Romaniotes Jews, who moved to Ioannina after the destruction of the Temple of Solomon, and later, in the 15th century, the Sephardim, who after their expulsion from the Iberian Peninsula settled in many regions of Greece, especially in Thessaloniki, the mother of Israel, as the city was called in the past, formed a bright, a vibrant, and solid part of Greek society. Weavers, silk makers, tanners, merchants, they dominated the economic life of many Greek cities, while the exuberant spiritual vitality of their communities left a strong mark on the cultural and intellectual life of our century, sorry, of our country. The centuries-old Jewish presence in Greece was brutally interrupted by the Holocaust during the German occupation. More than 65,000 Greeks of Jewish religion were exterminated, 87% of the Jewish population of Greece. With their demise, we have not only lost an irreplaceable segment of our population, but also an important part of our multicultural tradition. In German-occupied northern Greece, the deportation of Jews to the death camps began in March 1943, and the losses were enormous. In contrast, in Italian-occupied until September 1943, southern Greece, the deportation of the Jews took place in 1944. And although the Jewish community of Thessaloniki, Ioannina, and Corfu was almost completely destroyed, the total elimination of the Jewish element from Greece was prevented. Thanks to the solidarity of the Christian population, the help of the police, and the strengthening of the national resistance. However, the Holocaust is not a crime that occurred in the context of specific political and social circumstances, a heinous event whose memory we preserve every year by honoring the victims of the Nazi horror. It is not only the painful historical experience of a single people, but an unhealing wound in the body of the whole mankind. At a time when antisemitism is growing worldwide, it is our moral duty to turn memory daily into action, to cultivate historical knowledge, to reflect on the causes that gave birth to Nazism, racism, antisemitism, and all kinds of racial, religious, and social prejudices, to work with thoughtfulness in order to awaken consciences and shield against hate speech, to strengthen social amity and solidarity. This is the only way to prevent the repetition of similar crimes that tarnish our civilization. Only then will we not hear whispers from hell again, as the great thinker George Steiner wrote. Thank you. <laughs>